of the Collider Flash recap show. This week, so much going on, so many emotions, so much of the feels. We got Zoom showing up at the end with a whole gang of metahumans when we assume is Earth 2. We got all this stuff going on with Barry in the Speed Force. We got all this stuff going on with Henry all of a sudden like wanting to stay. So much to talk about. And then Iris and Barry, I think it's happening, kissing in the tree. All right, so... You all, uh, what's uh, hi? I'm John Roca. Let's go around the table, introduce everybody else. Uh, we've got some people from Arrow infiltrating us this week. Uh, please tell them, Jason. Uh, I'm glad to fill in. Uh, coming over from Starling City, we had a Starling City reference in tonight's episode, we did. so it's did. very fitting that I'm here. I'm ha happy to pull you guys out of the speed force when you get lost sometimes. Hey, -o, and to my right. Glad to have you. Um, well, you pretty much said the whole entire episode, so we're done here. No, no. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, everyone. Corey Takei, so glad to be here on this panel tonight. Yes. Right. Well, I'm glad to have both of you here. And yes, you're definitely, Jason, thanks for coming over from Arrow to hang out with us tonight because our other compatriot, I don't know where he is. So <laughs> who knows where David is? I think he's celebrating his birthday. <laughs> but here's what we want to tell you. You guys know how the show works. We talk about what we liked about the episode. We talk about what we didn't like about the episode. And then we answer your Twitter questions. Please always, when you send your Twitter questions, do not forget to include that hashtag Collider Flash there at the bottom so that we can pick it out and possibly answer it on this episode or future episodes. All right, cool. So let's just get to it. Uh, Jason, as you're our guest, please, would you mind starting what you liked about the episode? Uh, is this going to be a short speech? Do you want to do, you wanna do the, the general of what I like about the whole episode sure. or just like specific moments? Sure. Specific moments, general, whatever you feel comfortable. Uh, whatever you know, your Speed Force is telling you to answer. You know, the Speed Force is telling me that I didn't really like the Speed Force tonight. Oh. That's what the Speed oh. Force is telling me. Uh, well, we, got was, a, we, we got a section for that. Yeah, Is yeah. there anything you did like? Um, <laughs> you, know, you know, the stuff that, that I, you know, I'm going to throw out a nice shout out to Blake okay. Neely. The composer of this show yeah because i thought he did a fantastic job because if you were listening for it tonight when barry was in the speed force he did like a spooky slow version of the main flash theme yep mm -hmm. uh that was very kind of weird i thought and he doesn't get enough credit he does a really good job with the flash music and on arrow as well and legends yeah. and he did a great job this moment i thought joe had some great moments and i think uh anytime you get to see uh mama allen as i'm gonna call her yeah good okay. times okay that's that uh, that's it well, I, we can talk about more, but like, okay, you know, okay. I'll, I'll pass the rest of the panel. Corey? Uh, I think, uh, well, to be honest, this was probably my least favorite episode of the season. Wow. Maybe because I expected a little more because mm -hmm. everyone was hyping it up because Kevin Smith directed it and yeah. everything. And they're like, yeah, yeah, it's going to be a great episode. Yeah. And then with you know the culmination of Barry Allen being trapped in the Speed Force from the previews, we thought this is something magical and crazy is going to happen. But it was a little slow for my flavor. But yeah. on to the positives, because <laughs> mm -hmm. we're there first. Um, I did like Cisco's lines, as always. Yeah. And I, I like seeing um, Henry Allen in, in, the, in the group, you know, caring and all that stuff. But I mean, yeah, I mean, that's really it. Wow. Well, the ending. I like Zoom. OK. And I think that we should have had a little bit more of that and his plan, a little bit more of Caitlyn and what was going on there. Yeah. Um, not Kate, as she said. Yeah, right. not Kate. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, to me, I liked, is that yeah, pretty much okay? Man. Okay. <laughs> I kind of like the idea that you had the crew working together. We did, as Jason mentioned uh, uh, while we were watching, it was a little bit of a Scooby-Doo gang type of thing, which I thought was the right, because this is definitely one of those, what they call, for lack of a better term, filler episodes, because we're about, it looks like from the previous, for the next two episodes, we're about to batten down the hatches and get in some really crazy stuff going on with the metahumans from Earth 2 and with Flash now embracing his power. I kind of enjoyed him doing this process in the Speed Force. I'm kind of a sucker for that kind of stuff, having lost a parent myself, and so it's like having the hearing with the stuff that he talks about and the connections with his mom, I thought it was pretty well done. Well, that's that was fair. The, that was yeah. the strength of the episode. I felt when when he finally met his mom. Yeah, yeah. That was where like I was like, okay, I kind of wish that the whole Speed Force flashbacks, whatever you want to call them, had been his mom. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. He, it had been his mom from just the very beginning. Just his mom. Just right. his mom. Because right. the moments with Joe just didn't really seem to work. Right. Yeah. It, because it was the same beat over and over. He would see he would see Joe, and he was like, you're not Joe. And he's like, no, I'm the Speed Force. And then he'd see Henry, and he's like, yeah. you're not Henry. He's like, no, I'm the Speed Force. And then he'd see Iris. Oh, you're not Iris. You're the Speed Force. Right. Yeah. But with his mom, he was like, oh, you're sort of my mom. I believe that you're my right. mom. So that's where that moment played. And the rest of me were just like, Barry just kind of like, I don't Okay, mm. you're just the speed force. What yeah. am I doing? <laughs> well, it's, it's, I see yeah. your point. I also think they probably did it that way so that, you know, you he would kind of keep staying. Like, it was enough to keep him there, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, Cisco, obviously, when he was vibing, wanted to bring him back. 
to hang out to be back with it but he, you know they they had to use these people who are really important people in Barry's life to to be able to keep him in the speed force to get him to Nora I think they were all guiding him to Nora at some point. If it had been Nora from the beginning, there was no reason for it. She can't leave that house. There, it's not the same for him, the connection to the house. Like, he has to see her in the house. Yeah. And there's a thing because that's the last time he saw her. Yeah. So, so, but but you make great points, Jason. Uh, there, you know, you could have easily no, just I see your points. had I see your Nora points. going through. Um, I enjoyed that. I also enjoyed um, I enjoyed that we had Cisco and uh, and uh, Iris kind of developing this other side team while, while Caitlin's out of the way, which is unfortunate because I love Daniel Pennebaker so much i love her character so much i mean i totally forgot that she was even in the, she wasn't even in the episode until the yeah. end because it, the team worked so well you know and not in any way am i saying that i don't want caitlin to come back or daniel Penn to come, but the team works so well in spite of her not being there you know i enjoyed that and i really did like um the uh the end moment with the reading of the dinosaur book yeah it's cheesy yeah it could be played but i think kevin smith directed that really really well it has a soft touch it was and very the, kevin smith yeah very much and the, <laughs> the, the blake neely music really mm -hmm. like supported it so well so that we it was had a good the crane effect. shot back from that yeah yep well, yeah I, the I, hero I, shot was great yeah i like the moment where he he stopped uh the black blur that we had seen and it was him and yep. then he turned around and had the flash costume on yeah. uh fun fun little nitpicky thing I, sure. I wonder how come none of the team when he came out of the portal were like what where that costume come from oh yeah, yeah good question <laughs> you know well i, I think with these i think with the many human stuff you just learn you're to just accept like, the weird yeah you're whatever. like it's fine in the out of, out of place what'd you guys think about uh i thought wally west and jesse quick were some of the best parts of this episode yeah i was just gonna get to that I yeah mean, what did well, you yeah jesse quick was kind of not around that's though. true was, but like uh, i thought the effect that she had on the other characters right. yeah. okay like okay. like the sort of fate and destiny aspect that they were when barry touched her yeah Harrison Wells, um, you know, going great. Like mm -hmm. he was getting uh, schizophrenic in the opening episode, yeah. in the opening of the episode where he was like just yelling her name, yelling her name. And I, and I kind of like the beat where Joe was trying to hint at the speed I powers. Yeah. And he was like, yes. I've already experienced puberty. Yeah. No, with, I really like that. Yeah. yeah, with Wally. And he dropped his cup. Yeah. Just hoping that Wally would, you know, go into it. But yeah. didn't I mean, happen. we all know they both have speed powers. Come on. Yeah. 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 Come on. I uh, feel like that's coming. Right? I'm curious to see what will trigger um, Wally's speed like, yeah like, oh my gosh i and also i when as you were talking i wanted to also mention that i did like seeing cisco use his vibe powers yeah. more than just kind of seeing another area but mm -hmm. actually using it and and we're seeing that develop and it's like oh good good maybe he's gonna m make use of this in the mm -hmm. next yeah. Episodes. Yeah. It seems yeah. like they're trying to focus. Yeah. On. yeah I liked. Uh, I, I actually liked. I don't usually like uh, the Flash scenes where they're like an actor completely on green screen, mm -hmm. but I liked the Flash and the weird cloud of the speed. Force yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. them reaching for each other. And actually, to be honest with you, um, I like the moment where Iris was his anchor. Yeah. And he mm -hmm. used her because that is something. It, it wasn't a Barry Allen moment they're taking from the comic books. Th that's a moment from Wally West. Yeah. And Wally West in the comic books, he's getting lost through time several times, mm -hmm. and he his wife is Linda Park, another character that's been. On on the show right and he uses his wife's linda as his anchor that's how he finds his way back ah, interesting so you know i okay. just i just thought of something as well is the first time when um cisco vibes and tries to get him yeah he doesn't go and he's with iris at that time yeah so it's kind of like metaphorical that she's not gonna let him go back right but it, right. at the end she's the one that brings him back right was so a way it worked out. I thought it was, it was interesting uh, the the visual of the site which you bring up the cyclone or hurricane whatever that is or the cone of you know what the, the cone speed of force the speed force. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The speed force cone it was it was, it, was, it, was, it was almost kind of biblical like it made me think of the 10 commandments with Charlton Heston they have when he's when he is Moses is talking to the burning bush it's this weird kind of blue tunnel thing and it's talking to him and all the kind of jazz so that was interesting and then being in the speed force having people lead him too that's how we hope in a way, dying is, is that the people we love and care about will be there to guide us into the next uh, realm. Some people believe that, dying. some people don't. I would prefer that. I would absolutely love that. Some people don't believe there's anything you, once you die. I'm just saying. What, you don't think? I mean, I would like <laughs> it to be. What are you doing What am I, I saying? Mean, I would like it to be a spooky, atmospheric place where I meet my relatives and they give me speed powers too. Hey, oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it was always these places that were like yeah. good memories for him, right? Mm -hmm. The first kiss and. You know, uh, uh, well, not always good the memories. Mom's I guess murder. the mom's murder, I guess, but <laughs> places that he knows really, really well. Yeah, like good times. Powerful. I mean, uh, when he saw Joe yeah. West, they were in a pretty hazardous area as well, though. Right. So, right. I mean, for me, the whole um, the, being in the Speed Force, it felt really eerie to watch. It mm -hmm. felt like he was on an acid trip. Ooh, Obviously, nice. that's kind of like what it's supposed yeah. to feel like because mm -hmm. he's not himself and he's 
probably a little scared, frightened, right. doesn't know how to get out. Um, so it wasn't a good positive feeling for me until um, yeah, the mama mom shows came up. up. Yeah. Okay. You know, I guess I, I um, the Speed Force stuff uh, was interesting. Mm-hmm. I just kind of feel like for me, it was missing something. And uh, okay. the Flash in, in, the, in his comic book history, and I'm always going to come from this on a comic book yeah. uh, point of view, every time the Flash goes to the Speed Force, he learns something. Yeah. He mm-hmm. gets something new. He gets some piece of information. And and every time, actually, in the comic books, it's always Wally in the Speed Force. Yeah. The Speed Force wasn't even invented when Barry was first around. It was mm-hmm. Wally's run that that happened. Yeah. Uh, but I feel that Barry didn't get anything from this journey of the Speed Force mm-hmm. besides his powers back. No, well, he got uh, an understanding of what he, he put away. I mean, you, you're led to believe that he has finally put to bed the pain of losing his mom and the guilt he feels that he sacrificed her life for his life and all that because it was all that's all she was saying to him and she's like you need to accept that i'm gone you're gonna be okay i'm proud of you Mm -hmm. go forward now embrace your powers because i think we're done with the barry that questions himself i think the way he woke jesse up i think he's embracing this new strength and i I think that's what he got out of the speed force and the whole season this is ironic about this Mm -hmm. episode the whole season has been leading to this moment where he re-embraces his powers for real with no angst no emo tripping no like oh should i can i uh, do these things holding me back no he's got iris now he's got the powers now i think he's a very powerful hero and we're gonna see what how powerful he is over these next two if, episodes if they follow up with that yeah then i then i like the, I, I like your interpretation yeah but if I they don't like, then i'm gonna be like Rah. i agree with you. If they, yeah if they put him back in the angsty barrier yeah. who's questioning everything I, yeah. Uh, yeah then what was the point yeah. what was the point of going in the speed force you know all right, so let's talk about what we didn't like. Uh, everybody, you know, strap in. I think there's going to be some things that we talked about. <laughs> yep. uh, since we started with Jason, will we, uh, how about you, Cara? What, what did you not like about this episode? Ah, oh, man. I mean, I, I feel like Try I kind of covered it, it by and accident under. In, in the positives. Oh, but, okay. Uh, not enough, again, not enough of Zoom and okay. what he's up to and what he's conspiring. Uh, I would say that... I'm not feeling the Barry and Iris romance. Yeah, it's very powerful. You were saying this a few times during the episode. Yes, I I think it's too sudden. It is too sudden. You know, and I think maybe they're trying to speed it up because the season's ending. Yeah. And I I understand that he cares for her, but romantically is this something that I'm not ready for right now. Right. They didn't prep it for me. Well, I think we talked about this on a previous episode where we said, like, she says... Well, what if the well if the future is telling me this, and then these other things are telling me this? Then maybe I should pursue. She's it. kind of being peer pressured by yeah. alternate <laughs> Earths yeah. and the future. Yeah, exactly, yeah. newspapers from the twenty fourth century, or right. whatever. Like she's being peer pressured into it. It doesn't. So that's that leads into what you're saying. It's not organic. It feels rushed right. mm-hmm. or forced. This hasn't been a progression. Like the Patty Patty Spivet thing progressed way more logically yes. than uh, the Irish thing progressed because she has been saying we're just friends, we're just friends, we're just friends. And then out of nowhere, because of the two or three episodes ago, because of thinking about it and having a girl talk with with Caitlin, all of a sudden she wants to pursue it. And I was a, I agree with you. It was a bit weird that she felt the need to go into the Speed Force to get Barry over his dad. And I, yeah. I was like, yeah, that's, I thought that's that a was... that's a power move when you haven't even gone on a date with Barry, <laughs> let alone like you know what I'm saying. Well, they so, did kiss in that park. We learned that. Yeah, so, well, you know, you yeah, know. they that's almost guess, did, so. but they were like, well, maybe too soon, maybe too soon. Yeah. Oh, you mean at the end uh, by the <laughs> yeah, by yeah. the head. Yeah. I, meant, I meant the Speed Force where they were oh, like, oh, yeah. remember our first kiss? Like, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. And my other uh, negative that is the villain of the week. Oh, yeah, Gerda. Don't even get me started. I mean, Gerda. that's oh. that. Pure throwaway. Right, right. I've never seen such a useless villain. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, he, no, that villain was just as useless when they used them in season one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I agree. Well, it, it, but I think they had to do that, right? Because they had all these more uh, powerful storylines going on, more attention grabbing storylines going on. So they needed to have just someone who was easily dismissed. I, you know, I think that they could have done this episode without a villain. Probably. I really Absolutely. think the episode could have all been about. Um, burying the speed force. Right. How mm-hmm. do we get him back? And oh crap, what if Jesse never wakes up? Right. Yeah. Right. And that's all you need. We didn't need this storyline where we're we're chasing we're 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 we're, we're, we're holding a carrot out in front of Gerder that is Iris and making her jog yeah. the 10 miles from the from the <laughs> Allen house to the to Star Lab. Yeah. Like, that was ridiculous. And like I said, there's a thing where like they got stuck in the room and Gerder started coming up the stairs on this side and they go on this side. And you're like, are my watching an episode of Scooby-Doo? <laughs> <laughs> you know, let, let's just 
like show the shot of the hall and see them go in and out of the doors. Yeah. And then, you know, like Pat Boone comes out one of them or something. <laughs> That's a really deep, wow, old that is reference. A deep cut. That's an old. <laughs> you're, ask your parents about Pat Boone. They know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, no, also, this is, and this is something you bring up just now, Jason. Yeah, it's a very pro Iris episode. Yeah. Even as a zombie, this guy wants Iris. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He wants Iris. <laughs> Everybody wants Iris. He was awakened by the presence of Iris. Yes, it just, yeah. it just, it's just, it's just a little, it's a little <laughs> much. But, but you know, I get it. She's the female. She's very attractive, all that jazz. But I just think it's a little unnecessary to make her the focal point for this yeah, stuff. It, and yeah, it just, yeah, I agree. It just seems didn't work. Yeah. yeah, he just didn't work. And again, I just think they should have just not had a villain this episode. Or, That's my, yeah. or you could yeah. argue they should have had a really strong, powerful villain, so that when Barry shows up and his powers yeah. are now even stronger and he's more determined with his powers mm -hmm. it would be more effective for him to take down a stronger villain well think about it you brought this up about caitlin earlier yeah. um we get to the end of the episode and we learn that zoom's just been chilling in the police right. station yeah, yeah yeah apparently i mean well, well maybe he's been gathering all the uh, rogues from the batman 996 film <laughs> 1996 movies but uh we'll get to that <laughs> yeah I'd, I, yeah if you guys want to send us tweets or comments on your on the youtube or whatever and let us know who you spotted on those all the, that gallery the rogues gallery that that was down there jason uh, Mewes is apparently love. one of the villains in that scene too. oh really as long as like the guy who got his hummer smashed in yeah he's also like one of the villains like dressed up in a different costume but <laughs> like literally when they cut to the the villains i thought it was cool seeing all these earth two villains i think that i that idea yeah, is a neat idea it. but um <laughs> they look silly they look like the Liberace Brigade. Mm -hmm. Oh my like, gosh. <laughs> wow. Old references tonight. <laughs> All over. That's what you get when you bring an arrow guy in the flash. That's show. right. Just, We're going it, deep. It Generations did, deep. It did kind of feel like a bunch of people in cosplay going, yes. 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 Yeah. Um, another another yeah. problem that I had this episode, um, uh, I like the, the the scene where, where Barry was with, was with his mom. Yeah. Um, but for me... Him reading the story of the runaway dinosaur, while a very nice moment, yeah. to me doesn't explain how he suddenly has his powers again. Okay. Because they, they just finished the story. It's like, the end. And then he's like, <laughs> I'm the Flash. <laughs> You know that's that's what it was, <laughs> wow. and it, it didn't. I didn't. Buy, I didn't buy it. Okay. I, did, I just didn't. I, I thought that's the thing. I thought about everything in the Speed Force. Like mm -hmm. I thought it went to like seventy five percent. Yeah. But we needed that last quarter. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay. Mm -hmm. I I don't necessarily agree, and this will be. I'll be the campy on this. I don't know if that's true because I think <laughs> that like when he read when she read him the book and he did it by memory. It was his way of having his last final moment with his mom. Mm -hmm. Like, it, okay, you got what you couldn't get, a chance to say goodbye, a chance to have a final connective moment with your deceased parent, and then you can let it go now. You got that goodbye that you've been dying to have. I guess for me, gonna, I, so, I thought and then that, you can go. that moment was played better when it was him and Iris on the grave, and he put it down, and he was like, this book works so well for me because it's about right. how I find your mom. And then Iris was like, well, I didn't have a mom, so I uh, hated this book. Yeah, she undercut and I was like, it. That's a great yeah, character she, moment. Yeah, Such a great character moment. Yeah, it could lead to things. Uh, you, you, well, well hugging road. underneath an umbrella when you should kiss. Right? It's weird. They <laughs> hugged and kissed on the cheek. That was a little strange. I, uh, just, I just don't think that it's going to be the last reference of Barry's mom. Mm, I don't, right. So I don't think that she's completely ever going to be over it or overcome like losing her. Yeah. Mm. Um, so I'm a little more on your side. What what triggered the other than literally catching it, the speed? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what? And I was thought that it? was going to be a bigger deal too. Yeah. But it was like they finished the story and then he suddenly the black thing came right in front of him. Boop. And <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, well, that was easy. You know. <laughs> you know, I just it just needed. I think. It needed a, a bit more, or I, or mm -hmm. I wanted. I guess I wanted the Speed Force to like give us some revelation about Zoom that he yeah. didn't yes. know, or some piece of foreshadowing. Like That'd if Barry's great. mom was like, "If you don't get over this, you'll never beat Zoom," or I, I, I don't know. For me, it it did. It, it was the ultimate example of filler episode. Yeah, yeah, absolutely was. You know? mm -hmm. it was I think they. I think they. Their philosophy was, he's got to come to it on his own. Mm -hmm. If we tell him what can happen, then it won't be as powerful because then he's doing it peer pressured wise. But if he comes to it on his own, if we lay it out for him and explain it to him, then he makes the decision. Because she says that, mm -hmm. I don't think Iris says that to him. You can go back, you go back without your powers. Yeah. And this is the and this yeah. is the consequence of that. You know? And so that was more of a kind of like you have to understand everything that's involved and then you can make an informed decision. But we can't make you do one thing or the other. This is this it's your decision. I think she says that at some point. 
Um, I, do, you guys have covered everything I didn't like about the show, about this episode already. So, I mean, I, I don't know if there's anything I can add um, other than I would have loved to have seen. This is more like a real small nitpicky thing. I would have loved to have seen Wally or or Jesse like discover their speed force on accident in some way oh. and like be like by themselves. Like being a moment by them, it's like Wally up, upstairs sees something and just takes off and goes, and he's like, <sighs> "There's still a like chance something. for Wally." Well, no, of course it'll be in the next two episodes, I'm sure. But I mean, I would have liked that in this episode so that we have that going in as a possibility. Do we do we episodes. do we tell our predictions now for the night, or we, we hold on this? <laughs> sure. I don't get to, I don't get to say my flash predictions Let's on do air. It. Let's oh, do it. Sure, go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm really excited. Uh, um, <laughs> so I was telling you during the episode that my theory is is that Jesse is going to be the new Flash for Earth 2. Right. Yes. That yeah. I Because I think that's her home world. She's been kind of missing it. I think she's going to go back home. I think Harrison Wells will stay. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, she, she wants to be separated from her dad right. for some reason. She's like, well, I Kav- get away, dad. You're cramping my style. You Kavanaugh's know? staying. Kavanaugh's absolutely oh, staying. Oh, he needs to stay. Yeah. But I think she becomes the new Flash of Earth 2. Yeah. Uh, I think Wally's not going to get his powers until he's struck by lightning. Which oh, will really? happen? Which will happen in the next two episodes? Interesting. Okay. Okay. I, I think I think somehow somewhere in the battle of Zoom and sure. Barry, a stray lightning bolt is going to hit Wally. That activates his speed powers because yep. Wally is also the Flash, and he needs to be activated by a lightning bolt. Right. You don't. Do you think that uh, Wally is going to trickle his way to uh, Legends of Tomorrow? <laughs> I mean, there's a possibility, but no, I actually think next season is is Barry now has to teach Wally ah, yeah. how to how to run. Yeah. I, like I think that. I think yeah. all next season is is um, which is we saw uh, and we might get to it. Like um, some people are now worrying for a certain parent's uh, uh, death that might be coming oh, up. Yes, yeah. um, we'll talk about that. That could lead into uh, Barry now having to be the father. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. It's, oh. nice you, it's nice you bring that up because yep. uh, we're getting to your Twitter questions now. We've talked about what we didn't like and what we liked about the show. Now let's answer some of your Twitter questions. As always, please always send them in with the with the hashtag Collider Flash so we can pick them out yeah, a lot easier and answer them on the episode. Kari, you picked out three for us? I picked us? out three from our lovely viewers. Okay. First one is Matt Ruiz at ccrowmag92. Do you think with Barry and Henry's bond getting stronger that this might lead up to Henry's demise in the end? Mm. That's what you were alluding to. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, I mean, what do you think, John? It's a good question. I, I You know, I, I didn't sense that vibe when he says you're not getting rid of me and blah, blah, blah. And real world, Jason brought in the fact that like Henry, the actor, John Wesley Shipp, has been shooting three movies, right? So that's why he left for most of the season, uh, we, which we've made fun of on the show a few times. The fact that like, hey, I'm out of the prison. I need to get out of here. <laughs> you know, it's like, wait, 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 what? I just got you out of prison. Where are you going? Yeah. Uh, I think it would be shocking if they killed him off. However, I wouldn't be surprised if they killed him off at the end of the uh, at the end of the season. Uh, John Wesley Ship's a great actor, and obviously he's a tie-in to the '90s Flash. I would hate to lose him. Hate to lose him because some of the best scenes from season one are between uh, Grant Gustin and John Wesley Ship when he was in the prison. Some of the most powerful scenes. So if they take that away, it'll suck. But I also will understand in the progression of yeah. the show. I mean, that my feeling is oh, I don't want him to die. Yeah. I want yeah. him to to continue. Maybe go fishing, go and hide yeah, or something. Yeah. But, but do you think he will? Because that's do the question. I think he he will i think it's a, a huge possibility and again i think he might be earth two in the mask that's yeah. a possibility uh, yeah. yeah see that, oh, that's yeah. what i was gonna bring so so i, I said that i thought next season is gonna be all about barry teaching wally yeah. and being a father um that leans to me that i think um yeah john wesley ship might die yeah. Yeah. so it would be interesting for barry to have to become a father after he's lost his father um, I do think Henry Allen's the man underneath the you Iron do. Mask. You do. I want okay. to ask yes. you that. Um, because I think that Henry Allen of Earth 2, remember that episode where he said, oh, my mother's maiden name yeah. was yes. Garrick? Yes. Garrick. Yes. I think Henry Allen is the real Jay Garrick of Earth 2. Wow. Oh. So then he could be, yes. so he could so, be the Flash again. So, so he will be the Flash of Earth 2. And Henry with Jesse? Allen. With Jesse. Mm-hmm. And I think that will lead to next season. So Barry is like, oh, I got to be the father to this kid right. that I don't really know. I got to teach him. But my father is on another world and he doesn't care that I'm his son or even wow. there. So, so he has to deal with these father son issues on both sides. Interesting. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Henry ah. Allen might die, but Henry Allen Earth 2 will live. will live as Jay Garrick. Who do you think is going to rescue? If this is the case, who would rescue Henry Allen or Earth 2 as Jay Garrick in this season? 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. I, I mean, I don't think we're done seeing Earth 2. Yeah. I, I think oh, we, we, we'll we better not. I hope not. Part of the battle, I think, will happen back on Earth 2. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gorilla Grodd's still there. Yeah, there we you go. We better not be done. Oh, Gorilla Grodd. All right, Grodd. what's our second question? Uh, Jamie O'Keefe asks, who do you think will see an action with their speed? First, Wally or Susie? I think you meant Jesse. <laughs> Uh, I think we'll see Jesse. I think we'll see Jesse because uh, Wally, I mean Barry, touched her and get in, mm -hmm. like, in a way, brought her back to life with the electricity. Well, not to life, but woke her up with the electricity. And I feel like that was a connection between two speedsters. Do you think she uh, felt that something was different in her when she woke in, or do you think she just woke up and like, oh, I'm back? I mean, I don't know. It, if you remember from the pilot, it took Barry a little bit. Remember, yeah. right. like he kind of woke up, and then it wasn't until that alley scene where he like couldn't stop running. Um, mm -hmm. But I bet we see that next episode. I bet we see Jesse next episode. But I, again, I think Wally's going to have to be activated some yeah. other way, too. Well, they laid the groundwork by saying, like, when she was in the, uh, knocked out or when she wasn't coming to, that Barry had been in a coma after he got hit by the mm -hmm. particle ex ex explosion. So they go downstairs to see the files, look at the files, bring the files mm -hmm. up uh, to, so they can figure out how to bring Jesse back or, you know, see if she's got the yeah. power. So, yeah, mm -hmm. that's, uh, everything's following the script of her becoming the speedster first before uh, Wally, so that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I, 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 but I'm on Team Wally West. I think that we yeah. might see him develop. Um, not as I think I will see him in action first, but I think we'll see mm. her develop faster. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Last question. Our boy Lemon Grab ran at Hanko. Lemon. Lemon Grab, what's up? Says, any chance Zoom will be the villain in season three as well? I'd love to see a villain last longer nope. than season. You don't think so? No, he's wow. done. He's done. Really? Oh, he's such a good villain. He's man. such a badass villain. He's out. Uh, I see. I like Thawne better. Really? Personally. You did? Yeah, I, because, uh, I guess because I like the personal connection right. that Thawne had. Right. And you can't top that. Zoom has been pretty powerful. Yeah. But I kind of feel that ever since he like injured Barry's back, he hasn't been as strong of a presence mm -hmm. yeah. um no i think zoom is done zoom is definitely out at season two i actually be honest with you season three would love to see a villain that's not a speedster huh. yeah i would love to see uh, here okay I'll, I'll go even more crazy predictions i don't get to do this on arrow so Let's here you go it, here's, it. here's more flash predictions um <laughs> i would love to see next season be captain cold and heat wave back from legends they show up they find a new group trying to be the uh, the, the 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 new criminals, the uh, new rogues of yeah. Central City, and the whole season is them being like, "We got to kill these guys," and it's a rogue war across Central City. Wow! But then would it still be called the Flash? Yeah. <laughs> well, it would be, but it'd be the Flash having to encounter like instead of just two of these little guys yeah. with guns, yeah. it's like twenty-five. Hmm. But I don't know. I, I hope I hope it's not a speedster villain next season. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. We d let's make it be a woman. No. Yes. Sure, why, not? why not? Sure. That'd be amazing. Yeah. We haven't seen any like, except in Supergirl. But, um, what was I gonna ask? No, I forgot. Go ahead. No. Do you think? Do you think Zoom's dead? Do I think Zoom's will be killed we'll, we'll this be, season? Yeah, or I will think be he's gone gonna, this season. Yes. And then thank you for reminding me because I was gonna ask you guys. Yeah. Do you think that means that's the end of us seeing the uh, actor who portrays Jay Garrick? Oh, Teddy Sears. Uh, uh I don't know. It depends. Yeah. It depends on how they fix the Jay Garrick thing. Yeah. yeah. Like he's awesome. They'll have to explain that. Like how right. did he? Because he looks like Teddy Sears. Yeah. So what <laughs> yeah. Is that, what is that? Huh? Hunter Zolomon, all that jazz. Yeah. yeah, yeah they yeah, have exactly. to explain that. So yeah. depending on how they resolve that, I think depends yeah. on whether Teddy Sears is well, still around. I think that. Um, this season, the Flash has been killing killing people, unlike the previous season. Yeah. yeah. So there is a chance that Zoom will be killed off, but I feel like at the last mo mo minute, Barry will kind of save his life and trap him somewhere or something. Yeah, I don't think Zoom's gonna die. Uh, just like Thawne didn't die in essence, because mm -hmm. you know. So to me, I don't think he'll die. I think uh, he'll get put back somewhere. He'll get in incarcerated somewhere. I, I think you're right. I think I think thing. actually Barry yeah. will steal his speed. Yeah. Ooh. Like will completely take his speed yeah. away, and he'll and be a, a mortal like locked in a cell somewhere. Right. Yeah. Which will be great because it'll it'll when they want to reopen that cell or whatever they've got that in their back pocket. Yeah. And you have Barry with even more speed, more power. That's a whole other thing to worry about than angst not having the power or trying to figure out what to do with the power mm. it's it's even more interesting when you have someone with a lot of power well how do they use it it'll also be interesting to see because in the comic books the flash has the ability to steal speed force yeah. from other speedsters yeah. so it'll be interesting to see if this is how he learns that right right oh that's cool you know? well just like any good uh villain or hero there's always a thin line between both and with barrett with uh flash as he got to understand the speed force him stealing speed is what zoom did is what yeah. uh, uh professor Zoom did and all the different characters who have been villains they take so they can combat the Flash and so why not him being able to do it so it's always that fine line so yeah I think I think like I said I think Zoom's gone but I, I'm gonna hate to see him go because he's been 
Amazing. I I see your point because because mm -hmm. Thon was more manipulative and it was more psychological and you could make it work. Whereas Zoom should have destroyed Barry by now. Zoom Zoom is definitely more evil. Yes, but like, he should have already he's like destroyed Barry. Messed up. Yes, yes, yeah. And Zoom yeah. is more like a monster. But I guess for me, I like the personal connection a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, but Zoom is still. Uh, I mean, great look, great villain. I mean, it's like apples and oranges with the yeah. two of them. You know, really. Like, why is he just now taking over the plant? Like, why does yeah. he even need? the rogues gallery he doesn't if he's so f i mean he killed those <laughs> officers in like three seconds it was triggered by caitlin right now he's in this yeah he's in this weird thing with caitlin but yeah it's a bit of a tenuous stretch <laughs> for me okay. well, so let's, let's let's throw this out there yeah. to make this show a little bit longer yeah uh, <laughs> sure. do you think caitlin's gonna become killer frost see, we by the end of the season we, we, we talked, talked about, about this last that. episode yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I could see her getting there's her a ice gap. powers. There's a gap. Yeah. Killer Crofoss is dead from Earth 2. Therefore, a Killer Frost must exist at some point. He's been mm. trying to plant seeds in her about her being a bad girl inside, yeah. and he sees that. But I don't think if she becomes Killer Frost, it will be by the end of this season. It yeah. has to be something triggered by, like, death well, or no, no, loss. Well, I was or... saying is, like, uh, do you think she'll get her powers by the end of the season? I think she might get her oh, powers. Oh, maybe. But I, I don't think she'll turn evil until, like, one or two mm. seasons down the road. Right. Okay, yeah. Uh, but I could see her getting her powers in the finale. And then you'd have, or she could be the main villain there you go. for a season. She's the leader of Killer that Frost. That would be amazing. Road, right? That would yeah. be awesome. That'd There's be, your woman villain. Awesome. And it would work because she knows Barry. She knows Barry. I mean, personal. everything he'd do. It yep. would work, but yet and we, have, Star Labs. we have so many people right now who have just realized they have powers. Yeah. Wally West is going to come up, and then we have Jesse Quick, and then yeah. we have... Um, What's his name? Cisco. Cisco so, I right. mean, how are they going to handle all these people developing them? Hopefully, it works out fluidly. It's well, that's for the thing. comic books. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's for the writers to figure out. Then. Yeah. All right, is that the last question? Yes. Okay, all right. Thanks, everybody, so much for sending in those Twitter questions. We always love answering them. Obviously, you can tell they always give us a lot to talk about and give us tangents to go on that are related <laughs> to the show that are fun to explore for us as well. So, thank you so much for sending them in. Please, next, we've got two more episodes left, so don't forget to send them in next week. We always send the tweet out to remind you, but we always love it if you get one step ahead of the game and put the hashtag <laughs> Collider Flash so we can pull it up. All right, any last thoughts before we say goodbye? No. Thanks no. for coming. Thanks, yeah, for thanks for having me. me. I don't on, get Jason. to geek out about the it Flash awesome. on Arrow, so this is cool. I loved your prediction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I do on Arrow. That's a, that's if you guys watch the Collider Arrow recap show, which is always on Wednesdays, uh, that's all I do. I just throw out the crazy predictions, <laughs> just going for the wall. We can uh, come up with theories about mole people. All right, we'll keep the cam keep the camera on him. Jace, tell him where people can find uh, you. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Jawin J A W I I N. All kinds of stuff, uh, Legends of Tomorrow recaps and stuff like that. And then on the Collider Arrow show, uh, the exact day after this one. And do you, have, you, do you have your YouTube channel? Can you plug yeah, it? Yeah, YouTube? YouTube.com slash Jawan. That's our Legends Tomorrow recaps and reviews. Boom, so, boom. And thank you guys so much for having me for coming, uh, on the Flash World. Of Absolutely. Course. Yeah, yeah. Kari? Hey, okay, guys. You know what to do. K A O R I O U S YouTube, Twitch. I always do this because I'm, so I'm everywhere. She Snapchat, is everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. What's up? Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best What's one. What's up? Follow me. That was the best one. Uh, uh, shout out to you, girl, Ashley. Uh, and uh, listen, guys, thanks so much <laughs> for watching. You can always follow me at The Roca Says right there. R-O-C-H-A. My homage to The Rock. See the shows I'm hosting like this one and other shows that I am guest on. Like I was on Movie Games today with Jeremy Johns over there at Screen Junkies, which hopefully will come out in the next few weeks. So it's great. Fun stuff. All right. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. We really love bringing the show to you. Please subscribe. Please leave comments. Be civil. Uh, so that we can read them and not be upset by them and really comment back. We want to interact with you guys, but when you're wishing cancer on us or death on us, it's really not a good thing. So, all right, I just want to let you guys know that. We love you guys, so thanks so much, and we will see you all next week.